far as I'm aware, she's the only child that's ever been born with a smile on her face. I actually think it was when she saw me, she thought, it must be me, Dad. <laughs> But I don't know. Bells down the avenue, there's broken glass, a missing pew at church. Maybe I. On behalf of my wife and I, <laughs> I would uh, just like to thank everyone for coming and making our day so very special. We um, both feel very blessed to have such amazing families and friends and families that we consider friends. Are we breaking title? To ask the question why We live and then we die I think I'm fine Maybe I'll write you from the other side He was young when mom got cancer Here life comes on Dasher Dancer Raised up his little sister on his own, brushed her hair. Give this woman to be married to this man. Thank you, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maybe time's not that strong. Are we falling further? The best is the hope, the good things in life. Like a long, happy life as husband and wife. Like the smile and the kiss as you walk through the door and the baby that wakes you at quarter to four. And a life of variety with sunshine and rain, and frosties for breakfast instead of champagne. Expect times of anger, the occasional huff, because no one annoys you like the one that you love. But don't look for problems that the future may bring. Just to love and be loved is a wonderful thing. Life's not all plain sailing, not always a ball, but I know you'll be happy because love conquers all. Day at a time, I hope you feel you truly know me. If something comes. In the presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we've come together to witness the marriage of Sam and Haley, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy, and to celebrate their love. Marriage is a gift of God in creation, through which husband and wife may know the grace of God. It is given that as man and woman grow together in love and trust, they shall be united with one another in heart, body and mind. I, Sam, take you, Haley. I, Sam, take you, Haley. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Good afternoon, everyone. Let me introduce myself, if you don't already know me. My name is Alex, and I have the utmost honour of being Sam's best man. And it truly is an honour. As a friend and a farmer, he truly is outstanding in his field. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Walking down the avenue where we this used to play. Sam and Haley have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. You may kiss your bride. I've been friends with Sam and Haley as individuals for a long time and in recent years as a couple. And what I can say about these two people is they are so supportive to one another, so incredibly generous, kind and loyal to all their friends and family. Your huge popularity speaks for itself about how loved you both are by all, especially by me. I'm sure I can speak on behalf of everyone here today to say we are very excited to see you start your married lives together. My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For now, winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, and the time of singing has come. And the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. 
The fig tree puts forth its figs and the vines are in blossom. They give forth fragrance. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for love is as strong as death, passion as fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If one offered love for all the wealth of one's house, it would be utterly scorned. Daily. HP. Saucy. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> that would get, take some getting used to. I guess you're stuck with me now. But I wouldn't have any other way. <laughs> You're my better half. You make me me and bring out the best of me in every single day. Our lives have been intertwined from day dot. But it wasn't until a cheeky bum squeeze and a quick <laughs> drunken smooch and vodka revs that we became inseparable. Hayley, you're my best friend and I feel like the luckiest man alive to be married to you. <laughs> and best of all, we can share shoes. <laughs> Sally and I love Sam. He's a good lad, and we welcome Sam as our son-in-law. Those were the times. Ooh, ooh. And needless to say, we're very proud of Hayley, and they make a lovely couple. And I know you're all here, the same as we are, to wish Hayley and Sam every success in the future and may they enjoy a long and happy marriage together. So if I could ask you all to be upstanding, and a toast to Hayley and Sam. Sam and Hayley, I wanted to thank you both for letting me be part of today. And I thought I really ought to say something nice. <laughs> <laughs> As a couple, you've already been through quite a lot. You had a slight teeny tiny blunder involving a bull last year. Like the bull, you two came through that in pure strength. So I wanted to give you a gift. I've had a specially made t-shirt. And once to Haley, it says, I survived a limousine bull attack 2017. <laughs> and Sam, there is one for you. And it says, I'm the knob who owned it. 